So Roman Abramovich has confirmed that he will be selling Chelsea Football Club. I think we all expected this. We talked about it a little bit earlier on today on the live podcast. We talked about the fact that the wheels were in motion, but Abramovich has now come out and put out a statement to confirm that that is his intention, to sell the football club and set up a charitable foundation in which the net proceeds will go uh, to support those in Ukraine. I think there's a few significant parts uh, to this statement from Roman Abramovich. First of all, the fact that he has called it a war is obviously a bit of an up yours to Vladimir Putin, who he shares a close relationship with or has shared a close relationship with in the past. Remember, the Russians, in their view, uh, still don't think they've done anything wrong in this whole instance, and they're calling it a military operation as opposed to a war. So it's interesting that Roman Abramovich chose to use that terminology. And the cynic inside me wonders if the idea to put it in a charitable trust or charitable foundation, whatever you want to call it, to support those people in Ukraine is Roman Abramovich's way of getting the government to kind of back off, allow him to make the sale. And then, of course, he can get his money and be on his way, uh, having cut ties and having washed his hands of Chelsea Football Club. It will stop the club coming under scrutiny and it will stop him coming under scrutiny as well. That's what it feels like to me. Now, we keep hearing about these sanctions. We keep hearing about uh, the idea that the government should go in and freeze the assets of all of these oligarchs uh, who have connections to Vladimir Putin's regime in Russia. Well, they're not really moving too fast on it. And the other irony is that the firm dealing with Roman Abramovich's sale of the club is an American firm. So actually, how seriously are people taking these sanctions at this moment in time? Uh, I know that somebody was saying that they take a bit of time to be put in place, to go into law, etc., etc. But it just feels like when it suits they matter. When it doesn't, they don't. And, you know, Roman Abramovich has had ties to Vladimir Putin for decades. This is not a new relationship, right? And nobody seemed to have a problem with it when he took over the club, when he bought the club for £140 million way back when. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a shit. And now they do because, of course, Vladimir Putin has overstepped the line. But this should be a lesson for us. You know, this should be a lesson that you shouldn't let these people into our game. This is the people's game. This is the people's sport. And you're letting these people come into it because they've got dollars to throw about. And then you end up with situations like this. You know, you look at the, the Newcastle takeover where, of course, there was been lots of speculation in the lead up to that. There was lots of talk about why it shouldn't go through. And, you know, the authorities, the Premier League, etc., etc., those who makes the decisions decided that actually, yeah, while there was a bit of noise, it wasn't enough noise to stop us giving this deal the green light. We saw that the uh, the prospective owners and Mike Ashley, they fought it in a court of law and they managed to get their way to get the deal done and let the deal happen. But who's to say that if Saudi Arabia uh, or the authorities over there, uh, you know, are going to cross a line in some way, shape or form, that we're not going to have this problem with the Newcastle ownership later down the line. And, and the key point here is that you shouldn't let these people, um, people with these types of pasts, people who have got um, records of, of, of doing horrible and terrible things, you shouldn't let them into our sport in the first place. And listen, I said on my podcast in the full length episode that I don't blame Chelsea fans. Um, you know, I, I don't. I don't blame them for enjoying their club doing well. I don't blame them for welcoming Roman Abramovich's investment. And let's be honest, he cared about the football side of things. And in a day and age where we talk about a lot of owners who just come in, seem to use the clubs as uh, as a bit of a piggy bank and then, uh, you know, borrow against it, do all of that sort of thing. To have an owner that actually cared about the football side was probably quite refreshing. He's brought incredible success to Chelsea Football Club. And I don't begrudge the fans of Chelsea Football Club who have enjoyed it over all of these years. But I cannot sit here this evening and, and accept people going on and saying, oh, what a lovely man Roman Abramovich is and what a lovely man he's been throughout his time. And, you know, I tweeted that I thought that this idea of putting it into a charitable foundation with the net proceeds going to help Ukraine was um, his way of kind of getting the government to kind of back off just briefly or just for enough time to give him the opportunity to complete the sale. And people were saying, oh, no, but he donated some money to the NHS. So 
You know, it, it, that's what they call sports washing, right? When you use a sport club to try and basically paint yourself in a better picture and, and make yourself look popular. If he was a lovely, upstanding guy with no relationship with this evil dictator who is um, invading a, a country at the moment, then he wouldn't be in a position where he has to sell Chelsea Football Club. Let's not forget that. You know, Roman Abramovich isn't a saint, which is why he's in this position in the first place. So uh, please spare me with the, oh, what a lovely man Roman is. We'll never forget you and all the blue love hearts I'm seeing on Twitter this evening because it's driving me crazy. Um, do I blame the fans? No, but as fans, uh, you, you know, I don't blame you for, for Roman Abramovich's relationship with Vladimir Putin. I don't blame you for Roman Abramovich's past. But I think that, you know, we can kind of forget the colours of, of, of our teams for a minute in this situation and just focus on the real reasons that Roman Abramovich is selling the football club. And that, and when you look into that in itself, it tells you that actually um, he's not this uh, sweet, innocent old chap who's just been caught up in the middle uh, of a bit of trouble and needs a way out. This is a guy uh, who knew full well um, who he was in bed with over all those years. And like with many things, nobody really seems to care until it's staring them in the face. And, and as I said, unless we change things in this country with regards to the way we uh, vet the people that come in and buy these football clubs, we're probably going to have this problem again with someone else further down the line. And I'll be here saying exactly the same thing. So it's not a fond farewell to Roman Abramovich. It's goodbye and, uh, and uh, see you later, mate. It's, it, you know, let, let's not pretend that he's selling the club because he's been backed into a corner, uh, which none of is his own making. You know, you'd say that a lot of the reason that he's as wealthy as he is and has managed to stay as powerful as he is, is because of the connections, those questionable connections that he's had and made throughout his life. So, um, yeah, you know, he's, he's selling the club. He's going to put the end to a, a really successful era in Chelsea's history. Um, but this is not the ending that that I'm sure uh, Chelsea fans would have hoped for. But your past normally does catch up with you in some uh, shape or form. And, and that's exactly what's happening with Roman Abramovich. His connections to Vladimir Putin uh, have put him in this position. And as I say, nobody seemed to really care about that back when he was given permission to buy the club. And throughout the time he was leading the club to success. But now... Uh, when the, the, the situation in Ukraine has escalated, all of a sudden Roman Abramovich is public enemy number one. Lesson to be learned. Don't let these people into our game in the first place. It's as simple as that. Anyway, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, apologies for the poor production quality, but I just wanted to get a little something out. On the news that Roman Abramovich has confirmed he is selling Chelsea Football Club. Cheers.